This is CES M M A. Here is our clean care of New England tale of the tape. Five rounds in the welterweight division for the vacant CES MMA title. Chuck O'Neill comes in at 13 and 6 with four knockouts. He weighed in at 171 on the nose, and he takes on the tough four-time UFC vet Ricardo Funch, eight and four with four knockouts, also weighing in at 171. Let's send it down to Adam Palacio for the official introduction. This event is sanctioned by the Rhode Island Department of Business Regulation, Division of Commercial Licensing and Racing and Athletics. Paul McGreevy, Director. Maria D'Alessandro, Deputy Director. Christina Tobias, Chiefs Licensing, Examining Racing and Athletics. Your referees tonight have been Kevin McDonald and Dan Mergliata. Your judges are Paul Asmir, Brian Miner, Jason Randolph, and Wayne Lemer. Your physicians are Dr. Peter de Blasio and Dr. Daniel Hochberger. Twin River Casino, are you ready for your main event? That was not nearly loud enough. Twin River Casino, are you ready for your main event? This is the Clean Care of New England main event of the evening. This fight is scheduled for five rounds in the welterweight division and is for the vacant CES welterweight title. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner with a professional record of eight wins, four losses, with four wins coming by way of knockout. A four-time UFC veteran hailing from Springfield, Massachusetts. Ladies and gentlemen, Ricardo Golden Boy Punch! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner with a professional record of 13 wins, six losses, with four wins coming by way of knockout and five by submission. He is an Ultimate Fighter alum, hailing from Bridgewater, Massachusetts. Ladies and gentlemen, Chuck Cold Steel O'Neill! All right, guys, this is five rounds for the welterweight belt. Unified rules of mixed martial arts. We're in over those rules in the back. Do I have any questions, Chuck? Any questions, Ricardo? Touch gloves if you want. Come on, swing it. We're live cage side at Twin River Casino. It's the main event of CES MMA 26 for the vacant CES MMA welterweight title. Chuck O'Neill in the black trunks with the red trim taking on Ricardo Funch with the white and red. Two UFC vets got lock and horns tonight. You couldn't find two better candidates for this welterweight title. No, both fighters definitely have a pedigree for it. Let's see who comes, came, to, uh, came to the cage tonight to, to crack get the crown. I've got to be honest with you, I'm not quite sure. It looked right off the bat like there was an accidental headbutt. That's what I was stuttering over. And I wasn't sure if Chuck was the recipient of it. Now we'll find out who got the worst end of that exchange if and when they separate here. But you're right, they did appear to clash heads on the way in as Fun shot in to push O'Neill back to the cage. I was trying to get a good look at Chuck's eyes to see if it had any... Uh, any effect on him, but I don't think so. Doesn't seem like any noticeable damage thus far. Ricardo with a nice take down. Funch is a four-time UFC vet. Actually had two stints with the UFC. He came back due to injury in his second stint. Did not win any of the four fights in which he participated. Was ultimately released from the promotion. And has not fought since June of 2012. So it's been a bit of a layoff for him. But of course, remaining active with Team Link. Training non-stop, getting ready for this bout. Chuck O'Neill coming off back-to-back -back wins, defeating Roger Carroll and Chris Woodall, both under the CES MMA banner. And that was coming off that tough loss to yield to Freitas, which he got dominated. The Freitas with an electrifying knockout win in that bout. And it seemed like O'Neill was headed in the wrong direction, but he gets those back-to-back -back wins and now has the opportunity to fight tonight here for a title at Twin River Casino. You can see Ricardo definitely taking his time. Not rushing anything. O'Neill, of course, also a UFC vet, com competed on the Ultimate Fighter reality series. Right, he's, he's a, a 
tough alum. Showcased himself well in the finale of that series. Of yeah, that he, season. he shot very, he, he did very well. He represented himself very well. Ricardo doing a good job trying to free up the leg that trying to pass from half. Now he mentioned Funch had him fought. And right off the bat. That's you can a nice see, job. Yeah, that's it. That Chuck's looking for that ankle right now. Looks like for that. Oh, we got to stop right there. Yeah. That was a Funch dug that heel into the back, right into the yeah, spine of Chuck O'Neill. You can see the look on Chuck's face. That's it, it was unintentional, but Absolutely. Scott, even though it's unintentional, it doesn't go against O'Neal. This could turn the tide of the fight. This could be something very difficult to recover from. Yeah, Chuck was going for a heel hook right there, and he was definitely working it. It's similar to a low blow, he will get as much time as needed, or at least, what, up to Actually, five minutes? Actually, he doesn't. He doesn't get five. No, okay. This is a ref, ref's discretion, but you can see he was going, he was going for that heel hook, and Ricardo to the spine. He could be deducted a point. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was trying to do there. I mean, he, he could clearly see where he was aiming the heel, uh, you know, and I, and I don't think he was trying to intentionally hurt him, but uh, certainly at the very least, he gets a break in the action. I, I wouldn't think a, a point deduction would be unwarranted at this point. Not necessarily. The point deduction can come at the referee's discretion. I mean, it doesn't appear that he's going to do it. He may wait until O'Neal gets to his feet. He to, was in to a submission. The submission was, you know, Chuck was in the middle of a submission attempt. Yeah. It was locked in pretty good. Both fighters are still dry. You know, it's very early in the fight. O'Neal did a nice job with the reversal, like he's, you said, going still, for that heel hook. Yeah, he's still He's still down, it. too. That, yeah. and that, that's... It'll be interesting, too, to see where Kevin McDonald starts them at. Yeah, I mean, does he start him from a heel hook? Does he start him standing? I'll be interesting to see, you're right, what, a, what McDonald does here in this case. O'Neal still grimacing as he's back to his feet. Here's another angle. You see Funch just lift it up. I mean, he kind of right finds it. Right on the spine, right, right in on the, the middle spine. of the back. Uh, maybe trying to it's, go it's for the liver. It's an illegal blow. Uh, of course, 100%. But you see Kevin immediately stop, stop time, go to a neutral corner. But a great job by Kevin McDonald, too. I mean, yep. he was on top of that one from the start. Uh, I mean, it was pretty clear and obvious what had happened. Funch goes over to O'Neal and tries to apologize, or at the very least, console O'Neal. O'Neal just trying to stretch out. Do I think the strike was intentional by Ricardo? Absolutely not. But it, it, it definitely didn't look good. No, it, it's definitely Kevin's within his, uh, within his realm of authority to, to do exactly what he's doing now, give the warning, and even take a point. It doesn't look like he'll take away a point. You see them yelling to McDonald to put him in the heel hook, and McDonald kind of shook his head. Well, I don't think he's going to start him from a point of submission. Now, Kevin McDonald just chatting with O'Neal here. He's probably explaining to him why he's not going to start yeah. him right from it. He's gonna, he might start him from the ground. He might start him standing. Like you said, it's referee's discretion. And this is Kevin McDonald's decision on what to do here. But an inauspicious start to this title belt. We'll see, Scott, as the fight progresses. We're about to resume action here in round number one. We'll see as the one fight point. progresses. He's there is a the point. point. Okay, there it is. So Funch loses a point, which could play big Huge. into the decision here if this does go five rounds. And of course, we'll see how O'Neal's condition is going forward if this yeah. has any adverse effect on him uh, as these rounds commence or however long the fight does last. So we are ready to resume action here in this CES MMA welterweight title belt. It's our main event here. And O'Neal comes firing out of the clinch. Series of rights and lefts. Funch gets him back to the cage again. Nice short elbow by O'Neal. So an interesting start to our title bout, to say the least. Ricardo Funge deducted a point for an illegal blow to the spine. And so now if you're O'Neal, you really want to go to work here and get this round, because now you have a two-point edge in a five-round bout. That could be a huge swing. Push 
And Funch, of course, obviously wants the run on his end to at least even it going in a round two. So if, if Funch could make this a 9-9 round. Right, so to speak, no harm, no foul. One minute to go in this, the first of this five round title bout. But up until this point, you know, Chuck was working a, right up until this a submission. He was attacking a submission. It's tough too with the breaks in action to see how the judges are going to score this as well. And it, it, it depends on how they had it going into that foul and now how they're going to score these final 90 seconds here. Nice elbow by Funch that I believe just missed. Funch is looking for the takedown. And you can certainly make a case outside of that heel hook attempt by Chuck O'Neill that this was Ricardo Funch's round. He, he, did, he had pretty decent six, control. 6'5 pick him. You know, yeah. 6'5 pick him, depending on your perspective. Decent control on the ground up until that point where O'Neill reversed it and then locked in the heel hook. So, again, it depends well, the, on... The uh, opposite can be said is that it was, uh, it was even until the heel Right, hook, exactly. You know, so. so maybe that heel hook attempt does push O'Neill over the top. So it'll be interesting as the fight progresses if this does, in fact, go five rounds. <laughs> to see how that plays out. That's the end of round number one, an entertaining round number one. Bit of controversy at the very least with Ricardo Funch with that illegal blow losing a point. Let's listen into O'Neill's corner. Round number two underway in this five round title bout for the vacant CES MMA Welterweight Championship. Mike Parenti joined by Scott Ream live from Twin River Casino. We are cage side for CES MMA 26. Chuck O'Neill in the. Nice kick to the liver by Funch. O'Neill in the black and red trunks, taking on Ricardo Funch in the white and red. Good advice from O'Neill's corner to Scott between rounds, talking about not just running into Funch during those flurries, because exactly. that's kind of what happened out of the break after that injury, uh, after that small timeout, where he had a nice flurry, backed up Funch to the cage, and then kind of ran out of room and ran into a clinch. And that's kind of what yeah. stole his momentum. Nice takedown by Funch there. And of course, just to get you up to speed, Ricardo Funch was deducted a point in round number one for an illegal blow to the spine. And we'll see how that plays out. And this is the second round of a scheduled five in this title bout. And again, as we mentioned, uh, prior to the start of the bout, Funch, a four-time UFC vet, Chuck O'Neill, an, alum, an alum of the Ultimate Fighter reality show. Now this is where Ricardo will keep the fight for five rounds. He will stay right in this position, grapple, throw short punches. He'll be perfectly content to do this for five rounds. It's somewhat reminiscent of what Saul Almeida does. It's less lay and pray. He's a lot more active please, than Almeida please, is. Please, please, Mike, <laughs> do not compare the two, in, in my opinion. This, that might be yours, and, and my friend, my dear, dear friend, you are welcome to have your opinion. <laughs> There I'm talking more the, in the similar to the two. Well, and more the, uh, the, the the comfortability factor the, among the two. Uh, in the aspect of being comfortable, there's a difference between being nice job by O'Neill throwing up a triangle, forcing Ricardo to defend. Now you can see Ricardo, you can see Ricardo leaning back, and O'Neill again another triangle attempt being thrown up, transitioning here to maybe the. He's really digging deep for that triangle. He's got to pass the arm over, though. He's looking for that straight arm bar on top of it. He's got to pass the arm through. There's the, there's the arm coming around. 
He might have that arm bar if Ricardo doesn't come around. Looked good for a second, Scott. He's, he's got to pass the arm. He's got to pass that left arm to the other side of the body for the triangle or attack it for the arm bar. That's the arm bar. He's got it. We got a new champ, ladies and gentlemen. O'Neal off his back with a beautiful armbar set up off the triangle. That is why it is not Saul Amina. Chuck O'Neal is your CES MMA welterweight champion. Big submission win over Ricardo Funch. What a turnaround in round number two. And it looked for a while as though Ricardo Funch had control, Scott. Take us through what happened there in the end. It was great. What ended up happening there was Chuck did very well to defend anything, not take too much punishment, not allow the position to get advanced, stayed relaxed, and immediately exploded a, a submission, forcing Ricardo to defend. And transition, he attacked the triangle and transitioned immediately to Amba. Did it again, triangle to Amba. Although his arms were in a triangle, his legs were in the triangle, he was attacking Amba from there. It was, a, it was a, he did a great job on two, maybe three different occasions of attacking that Amba. We're gonna get another look here at the finish, Scott. He's in a, this. You see his legs in the triangle position. He reaches under, now he goes back inside for the Amba. When you reach under, that's showing triangle. He, he's trying to pull down, here's the Amba attack again. Now he re-secures triangle position. A couple of strikes. You see the arm extended by Ricardo Funt. And he, Chuck kind of tricks him into thinking he's going triangle by reaching under the leg. And in turn, comes right back outside for the armbar. He led him to believe he was attacking triangle when the whole time he was going after that armbar. Tremendous finish for Chuck O'Neill, who took an illegal blow to the spine in round number one. Bounces back and then gets the arm bar submission in round number two to become the CES MMA welterweight champion. Third consecutive win for Chuck O'Neill. Let's send it down to Adam Palazzo for the particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, before I announce the winner, I just want to say on November 7th for our CES boxing card, the film crew for the new Vinnie Paz movie will be here. They'll be shooting crowd scenes, so you're gonna to wanna to be, if you wanna be a part of history, be a part of the Vinnie Paz movie, you're gonna to wanna to be here. Now to the, the official business at hand. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner with 251 of round number two by Ombar. And new Walter Waite champion. Ladies and gentlemen, Chuck Cold Steel. Oh, Neil! Chuck, a moment of your time, please. Congratulations. If I could ask you a question, it looked like you were teasing him with the triangle when you were on your back. You kind of reached underneath the leg. You kind of made like you're pulling down the back of the neck. Were you thinking on about the whole time? Uh, no, I was honestly going for that triangle. Uh, I was trying to go with my right leg up first, but I wasn't getting space. Uh, so I transitioned back to the left. He was doing a good job of leaving his arm in there, so I was like, I'm taking that home with me. Well, it did look like you were ready to take it home with you. Are you happy with what your performance was tonight? I felt like I came out kind of slow in the first round, but that was kind of our plan. Let him tire himself out. You know, I'm a stronger guy, so he's going to have to deal with that. I got good cardio, great training partners, great coaches, so I'm ready to go. Well, I can't tell you how happy we are for you here at CES. Ladies and gentlemen, Chuck O'Neill, your new welterweight champ. I just want to say a quick thank you to not only my friends and family and teammates that are here tonight, but thank you for everyone coming out, making CES successful. Thanks to Pat Sullivan, the Birchfields. You guys are great, and I'm happy to represent you. Ladies and gentlemen, Chuck Co.